As we wrap up Breast Cancer Awareness Month, our HealthCast today is focusing on genetic testing. It's easier and more affordable than ever before, but of course, finding out that you have a gene that can possibly cause cancer is frightening. But it's also knowledge, and knowledge is power. And one young South Florida woman believes that power saved her life. Family time has always been a priority for 30-year-old Candace Frederick, but these moments are even more precious now. Two years ago, Candace was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had like this sharp pain that was going on in my left armpit, but it would come and go. There was also some bleeding from a nipple that eventually led to a biopsy and a diagnosis of ductal carcinoma in situ, which is basically a stage zero cancer. Candace was set to have a simple lumpectomy until she did genetic testing. Tammy Adar is the manager of the Genetic Counselor Program at Memorial Hospital, where 50 to 80 genes can now be tested at one time, including 12 specifically linked to breast cancer. A couple of years ago, we needed to get a technology change that allowed us to look at multiple genes at once. And one thing that allow, now allows us to look at multiple hereditary cancer genes uh, at one time. In addition, it brought down the cost substantially. Through genetic testing, Candace learned she has the BRCA2 breast cancer gene. That led to further testing and more aggressive treatment when she learned the cancer had actually spread to her lymph nodes. Chemo first, then I would do the mastectomy, and then I did radiation, and now I do like home hormone therapy. Because of her age and family history of cancer, Candace was a great candidate for genetic testing. While learning you have a gene mutation can be frightening, it can also be a lifesaver. Not everyone who has a genetic mutation will necessarily get cancer. Um, but then when we know that information, we can do either earlier, more frequent screenings um, so that we can catch cancer earlier and therefore we can better treat it and better cure it. Candace has been in remission for one year and says she feels fantastic. One thing I can say is that I never feel scared being here. I, the care team that I had, they let me know right away, like, this isn't a death sentence for you. You're not terminal. We're going to give you the best care that we can, and you'll be able, like, you're going to ring the bell. And I rang it twice, <laughs> so. She rang that bell. Now, armed with her genetic information, Candace does know that one day after she has children, she will like to have her ovaries removed to prevent any further cancer. Now, if you're interested yourself in testing, but perhaps your insurance is not going to cover the cost, I'm told that most labs now are going to do this testing for about $250. Good knowledge to have. That is very good.